Hi everyone, it's time for a new experiment. Today what I'm going to show you is a SAF API. Basically the idea is that I create a SAF Blazor application and then I hosted a, a REST API inside. So let me show you what I have here. I mean, let me run the application and so you can see it and then we will do the API stuff. So this is a, basically a normal Blazor application and I have this domain object too and I have two records right now. So basically what I did is I hosted an API controller in the same project as the SAF application. So here I have my controllers folder and here I have a test controller and basically just one method in this one. So again this is an experiment is not uh, release code. So this controller, what it will do, it will create a SAF data view and it will get the result as JSON. So here I have Postman and here I have the request. So as you can see, it's the same URL as the application. Let me put the application in here. So it's the same, uh, but in here the route is API and then my controller and then I pass some parameters. The parameters that I'm passing are like the property list because when you create a SAF view, data view, you need to send a list of properties that you want to include or expressions. Then um, the type is domain object two and I can even pass a criteria if I want. So let's see, let's run this. So right now I have two records in here and I have two records here. So I will execute this one more time. Let's clear the results. No, I don't know how to clear them, but okay, let's send it again. So here I have the response is CD and A and these are the OID. So it's the same values that we have here. So I'm going to change this one instead of A is going to be demo and I will save it and I will do the API request again so see here the name is demo is totally I mean it's totally online I'm not catching anything at the moment so um, I can include less properties in here let me put this in JSON can I make this bigger no <coughs> okay so I'm including two properties now, um, the OID and the name. I can exclude properties also. If I remove this from the call and I send it again, I will just get the OIDs. And uh, let's see, do we have another property? Uh, yes, we have name, description, and test. So let's include description. So is this and then description and let's run this. Okay, so uh, now I have the description. So for example, I have, uh, let's see, this one, this record, the description is B. Let me include the name also. put the name in the end yeah see B is demo so is this record I'm going to create a new record also so I can show you that it's working fine um, YouTube demo and the value is going to be the same save now I execute now I have three records here, I have the YouTube demo. So with this, you can get an, an API for free, basically. Um, just a few lines of code, and then you can basically get any data that you want from SAF. Because in here, one of the other parameters for this request is criteria and sorting properties. So you can like query, sort, and 
include more or less properties or calculated properties. So this is like an API that you will get for free. I mean, like in two or three lines of code. And that's why I totally, I'm totally in love with the design pattern of, of the SAP Blazor application because ASP.NET Core is so versatile that you can do basically any crazy stuff that you want. And since SAP Blazor is an ASP.NET Core application in the end, uh, so you get to use all those patterns in your new Blazor application. So, well, that's everything for this video. I think I'm going to continue uh, making this better or making other APIs because I really love this idea. So let me know in the comments if you think that we should include more APIs regarding the other modules of stuff.